So why why should I use you know Photoshop versus Illustrator to do my web layout? I mean, I think web layouts are a lot more about measurements and precision. And I think also when you hand it off to a developer, they're going to want to have a file that's raster as opposed to vector, and we might want to explain what that is a little Google bit. The di Google the differences between raster graphics, bitmap, right. between bitmap and, and vector. Right. So those are the difference between the two programs. One, exactly. One is at a really top level. One is pixels right. all laid out next to each other to make up an image. Uh, and the other one it's is like lines and it, it's a mathematical right. equation that that's why it's called vector. It goes right. from one to the other. Right. So so I like Illustrator a lot because it's very malleable. And it's you very used a really interesting metaphor, interesting uh, in terms of uh, uh, its comparison when we were talking about what was what was that? Yeah, I think um, Illustrator, like you mentioned, is malleable. To me, Illustrator is more like Play-Doh or clay where you can really change the shape really quickly and make like you know a large amount of permutations in a short amount of time whereas so maybe you would start in play doh you know you start like kind of crafting your little shape and then when you want to take it to the next level and make it really high res you start to carve in stone so that's kind of what i feel that photoshop is in a way um, it's almost like you know chiseling a block of marble or something when you cut in there yeah. you're making like these really high level details really high res the issue is though once you've kind of chiseled your stone there is no easy way to kind of just gloss it over and then maybe do something different with it it's very rigid to me it's very it, precise once you have it very... in photoshop it's a little harder to, to yes. think, lay things out even though uh, uh, even though it, it's interesting that and we discussed this also that my once I have something in Photoshop I have the tendency uh, to organize it really well so I can move things around and we're going to talk about that